Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to another EA Sports UFC 3 beta gameplay video. Today, we're going to be hopping into Ultimate Team. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's dive in. Welcome to EA Sports UFC Ultimate Team, the mode that lets you build and customize a team of UFC fighters to compete online or offline in a variety of exciting challenges. Every fight earns you coins you can use to purchase Ultimate Team Packs containing better fighters, better moves, and other ways to improve your team. Powerful new items are available all the time. Compete in Ultimate Championships, Single Player Championships, or the all-new Solo Challenges to rank up, earn coins, and build your baddest UFC Ultimate Team. All right, guys, now that that dope intro is over, it's time to hop into Ultimate Team. Little disclaimer, a lot of people want to know where's the beta? How can you get the beta? Just to let everyone know, I was invited out to Canada by EA Sports, and that's why I have beta gameplay. I'm not sure if it's going to be only a closed beta or if they're going to open eventually to the masses. I mean, we still have a couple months until this game drops, so anything is possible. But hopping into the first pack, we copped a Tony Ferguson, which is going to expire in five matches. If you guys noticed, there was a little five right next to the card. If you guys do get any cards like that, that means they are cards that can expire. So I know a lot of people are like, bro, you just copped the Tony Ferguson from a starter pack. Why is he expiring? Because it is a starter pack card. Every player ain't just going to come into UFC UT and just get a gold car from the scratch, like from the rip. No, that's not going to happen, man. Um, also, just let you guys know, this is already predicted on what you have to do for the start of Ultimate Team. So it's basically taking me through everything that I need to do. I already caught my pack. It's telling me that I have to go to single player championships. It's not letting me go to anything else until I finish what I have to finish here. So it's letting me go through everything and it's telling me that I'm, I definitely have to fight now. Don't have any other options. So I go into fight now. I got to choose a character, which we already know I copped the Tony Ferguson. So he's the only card that I have on hand to use. So I'm going to go ahead and use that Tony Ferguson, man. Not sure who I'm going to be going up against. But just to let you guys know, you know what I'm saying, since you're watching this video and I'm the one commentating it, your boy went up against Conor McGregor. So you guys are definitely in for a show. Now, this is telling me all about my move sets, my perks, as far as grappling, my physical, everything here, as far as chemistry goes, is where you put the moves. So all I have right now is one little old body hook. You know what I'm saying? And I can't really go to anything else, put anything else up. So it's telling me that I have to go back. And now I can choose this lightweight fighter to go in. Now, uh, one big thing about Ultimate Team, there is still a pay to play option, which you guys see that there is two different currencies. You can get coins from doing challenges and you can get coins from doing a whole bunch of stuff. But as far as the other currency, you're gonna have to pay that money. That's all I'm saying, man. I know a lot of people in a recent like couple months as far as like games go with microtransactions really haven't been happy. But I can say that it's really up to you on how you wanna spend your money. So I ain't hating. You know what I'm saying? Now, I do have Tony Ferguson in this match. No, I am not Conor McGregor. And no, I am not tapping gloves. That's not how I get down. Now, one thing that I don't like about Tony Ferguson, and this is just because, of course, he's not like a, a striking, you know, connoisseur. It's just he, he holds his hands so low that sometimes it looks like you're going for a body block. But really, you're just holding your hands. Now, I'm just throwing little pop shots here, man. I didn't want to fight this too tactical because this is like somewhat of the easiest difficulty. You know what I'm saying? As far as like UFC Ultimate Team goes. And Conor McGregor is getting his head punched in right now. I'm punching him in the back of the head. The ref ain't stopping nothing. So I'm just having fun here. But I definitely want to show you guys a lot of different things. And if you notice, McGregor's stamina is down. And I hit him with a body shot. And he could have been finished right there if I would have kept the pressure on. 
but I just want to show that portion of the video because in my last video a lot of people were like hey bro why are you an MMA game head hunting only well we had changed the camera angle we kept it in tight we wanted to play around in the pocket mainly punches only we didn't want to go with kicks too much because we knew Barboza would have easily won that fight if I would have just kept kicking. I would have went three straight. You feel me? So I just wanted to show something a little different. Also, I'm showing ground game. If you guys notice, McGregor's head damage goes down significantly slower than last year's game. As far as UFC 2 goes, when you get a guy on the ground, you start pounding on him. It's a GG. But this year, man, if you pound on somebody's head or if they block and get that that grapple advantage, it's really it's really nothing you could do, especially from top mount. Top mount, you only have one move. Punch somebody in the head, elbow somebody in the head, and hammer fist somebody in the head. Half guard, I said it in my last video, half guard is the way to go. If you go in half guard and you posture up, you have so many options. You could punch a guy to the body, punch him to the head, get him thrown off, and then put him in a submission if you want. Or you could just keep on punching until that guy is out. Now, as far as stamina goes, I don't know why, but this McGregor stamina is bad, very, very bad. And one thing about my stamina, I don't know why mine is still up. Usually my stamina runs out hella quick. I'm like one of the worst people at managing their stamina in UFC, like as far as YouTubers go. Now, another thing people might be saying in this video, iPod, why aren't you throwing a lot of other strikes? Why aren't you throwing kicks like how McGregor's throwing? If you guys notice when I equipped special moves to my guy, all it gave me was a body hook. And that's why I'm going to the body. You guys thought I was going to the body because I want to really show y'all something, something nice, something new. No, I was going to the body because that's the only move that I really got. I'm sorry. But I'm currently dotting the eye, man. This dude, chin, his nose is obliterated. I'm killing him with so many one twos, one two threes. It's like he don't know what to do, man. But Conor McGregor did get knocked out in this fight. Of course, you know what I'm saying? It was inevitable. You know, I, I mean, I'm playing against an a, a AI that's probably like on beginner level. So, of course, we have no problem there. But um, there was one last thing that I wanted to say before I got up out of here. Oh, so as far as like the movesets go, as you upgrade your fighters at Ultimate Team, you will get different moves. I heard that some moves will expire. And I, ha I heard that some moves won't. So there's supposed to be like some type of special event type of things where they're thinking about maybe they'll have like moves of the night or something like that. Um, I'm not trademarking anything like that. Don't quote me. But I was talking to one of the Ultimate Team devs and he was like, you know, bouncing ideas off me. And I was, you know, giving him a few ideas. And he was like, you know what? That's pretty dope. Because we kind of got into an argument about this whole Tony Ferguson card, even though it's a starter card. I was kind of like, yo, why does he expire? And then I was like, well, I need to pull packs to see if I get another gold card to see if that gold card would expire. But he was telling me straight up that they won't expire when you do get golds after the starter pack. So I was pretty happy with that. But if you guys do want to see a pack opening for UFC 3 beta, make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys comment below. Tony Ferguson will be my character for the next five matches in Ultimate Team until I probably get like a Nick Diaz, a Conor McGregor, or anybody else for that matter, man. Just give me a striker. I love strikers. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. This is IKC signing out. Peace.